Hi, don't mind the mask on my head, but yes, I am not dead. And for those who've been wondering why I've been gone for two weeks, no, I did not give up on this channel. Uh, I mean, come on, be reasonable. I want to buy a car, okay? If you read the title, yes, unfortunately, our house was trashed. Uh, we moved from our condo that was supposed to be our temporary house to this current house, and I kind of feel like I need to give a context to what the heck is happening, you know, why the heck I was in Thailand, why I moved back, why I didn't move into this house immediately, and uh, why we opted for a condo first, and why I am really bad at being a YouTuber. Well, the short answer is that this house was really in a bad state, and let me explain. So, actually, this house I'm living in right now is actually the main house, our main house. Uh, I've lived here since I was young and I've lived here for so many years. And fast forward, we decided to move to Thailand because of work reasons. And it was during that time in Thailand that I started my YouTube channel. Let's just say we decided to have a few tenants to rent our house. And you know, let's just say the first tenants were great and I really don't know what happened after because I don't know what they did to this house, but uh, I don't know if they had a domestic problem. I don't know if it was really something else, but my god, I really question the things that they've done to this house. For example, for some reason, a lot of the water heaters were missing in the house and they were replaced with smaller and crappier ones. The toilets were completely trashed, you know, they were pretty much unusable. There were so many scratches on the floor, uh, half of the lights didn't even work anymore, and there was even mold everywhere, so even the keyholes in the doors were picked so like the house was like completely fucked right uh we were planning to actually renovate this house as soon as we came back from thailand but we were not prepared for the damages that was done to the house and the moment we entered the house the state of it was just <laughs> it was uninhabitable we literally couldn't live in the house after moving from thailand because there was no water there was no there was mold everywhere it was a health hazard there was literally no locks in the house and we had a safety problem uh the tenants left a long time ago because of covid so we couldn't and even contact them so let me tell you we we literally couldn't stay in our house so we had to find a place to sleep and mind you the time we moved in was literally like midnight we were literally uh frantically looking for a place to sleep because we literally couldn't sleep here it was un it was not safe um and let me tell you that when you have no place to live or when you have no place to sleep it's not a pleasant feeling <laughs> Um, you have all these luggage with you, uh, you don't- we didn't even have a car, we couldn't afford one because of the repair of the house. So literally, we relied on taxis to move around, uh, so we had to quickly find a temporary place for us to sleep in. That's why we moved into the condo that I showed in the videos prior. Uh, thank god there was a vacant spot in the condo because if not, we were really running out of options at that point. So. While we were staying in the condo, we were starting to repair the house little by little. It was really in need of dire repair because it was really bad. It was- the state was really bad. We couldn't renovate everything. We actually had a plan on how to renovate the house. We actually had plans on what to do with the house. You know, we wanted to turn it into a little Airbnb, but unfortunately, we weren't prepared for the unforeseen costs of the repairs and the damages of the house. It was just really crazy. So we changed our plans. We just focused on the main important things, you know, such as bathrooms, water, electricity, water heaters, the foliage of the garden, the mold, but we also did paint the house, the entire house. That was very costly, but <laughs> now the house looks entirely different compared to how it looked like originally. It looks a little bit more modern now, which I, which we really like. Um, and yeah, for the last for the last week, we've been repairing the house and it's finally now livable. Uh, we invited a few relatives so that we have more people in the house and now we are staying here and yeah. For the last two weeks, I was in the process of moving into this house and we were fixing the house little by little uh, and and yeah, we were fixing the house until now me recording this video. Um, currently, we're kind of settled right now. Um, we have good Wi-Fi, the water is working now. It's not working perfectly, but at least there's water. Um, we fixed most of the glaring issues of the house and now it is secure and it's it's habitable essentially we're still fixing a lot of things but at least now we have a place to stay in there are literally dogs outside god damn it 
Okay, but now for the update regarding university and YouTube. How are things going between with my university and my YouTube and everything? Uh, well, I have to say things were really hectic on my end. So the reason why I wasn't able to upload the last two weeks was actually really because of the moving. I was able to balance university, socials, and my YouTube. Uh, but because we started moving, we actually had to start preparing and packing our things and moving here. And then I have to like buy things that, you know, for example, I have to I had to buy like uh you know bed sheets and all that stuff my bed my mattress it, it was really too much so I wasn't able to produce a video at that time but now that we're settled hopefully I can like get back into groove um but uh by the time I'm recording this video my midterms are actually literally seven days from now uh so I'm kind of studying a bit more uh I'll probably be uploading a sort of exam vlog uh exam week hell week or something so stay tuned for that but yeah other than that we're we're kind of settled now i'm going to be trying to go back to my regular schedule of making videos and hopefully i have more space in my room to do different kinds of things and more space because this house is a lot bigger than the condo we stayed in and i think it'll be easier for me to film a lot of things now but uh yeah but with my current internet i'm also planning on streaming so hopefully stay tuned for that i will be streaming maybe like couple games and, and then maybe some study sessions who knows but i'll figure out the setup for that but yeah um i also wanted to say a huge thank you to you guys because um, uh, you guys have been really a wonderful help to my life and to my YouTube channel. You guys have been supporting me, just watching my videos. It's honestly, I, could, I couldn't say, I couldn't be more grateful. But also, I want to give a huge shout out to my Ko-Fi supporters. If you guys don't know, I upload wallpapers on my Ko-Fi page and you can purchase them in a way to support me. And you guys are amazing. A lot of you bought my wallpapers. I hope you, li I hope you like the wallpapers and thank you for supporting me. Um, again, you guys don't have to buy the wallpapers. It's completely for supporting me but yeah thank you guys so much for supporting and for supporting the videos that i make uh it's really wild that a lot of you are really generous enough to pay uh monetary value for my wallpapers in the process of supporting as well but uh yeah again but anyway guys uh that, that's a little bit of an up yeah anyway guys that's a bit of an update uh i will be posting a lot more videos now i'm going to be getting back to schedule it's almost the end of the year and my god i still have a lot of things that i want to do but yeah I'll see you guys in another video. Um, don't forget to drink your water and, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.